I think we benefited a lot from the amount of attention, first of all, because then you have a public that says, we want this, and uh, we don't care if it's not there yet, but we want this in the future, and it shows to industry that they should work um, on it, or they should think differently. That's, I think, first, the most important thing. Um, second of all, I don't believe that you can do everything on your own. Like, I couldn't do the research. I'm trained as a designer, not as a chemical researcher. Um, so you need to collaborate. I don't know how this will develop, so I cannot attract investors because they, are, they really want to see money. So they're not interested in something from which they don't know if it's going to work. So for that, prices are important. Uh, and um, I think the smaller prices are accessible when you start, and then the more proof you have, the bigger prices you can go. And, yeah, stay as independent as possible for as long as possible. I think we could work with a bigger company, but we couldn't work under a, a set-up brand, I think. I think to communicate, you need also, you need to start fresh from the start, rethink everything, because that hasn't been done for the last 50 years. Uh, yeah, so to just really start rethinking from, from zero. I already subscribed or applied for a few prizes um, and I won, I won them, uh, which together with the amount of attention really helps to, um, to show that there is a demand and uh, to make it work and to find the right research partner because it was all still an assumption. Um, fortunately, a lot of people uh, also said that it's possible and they were from the water industry, from the cleaning detergent industry and um, these are not the people that you have access to when you call such, a, such an industry, they never guide you to these people. So after uh, winning these prizes, I was lucky to find the right research partner and I also started collaborating with another girl because well, I'm a designer but I'm not really into business related things and I, I don't want to be actually. And I want to just enjoy and make the best out of what I can do and let what I cannot do up to people who are really good at that. Um, so together we found Wageningen University and they are now researching to find out if it's really if it's really possible, they assume so. Um, but the question is also if if, if it's um, sustainable to produce. Like if it costs a lot of CO2 emissions to produce, we're not going to do it because it doesn't level up what you save. If it's if we need a lot of chemicals and it's really bad for your skin, we're also not going to do it. Though we assume that we might need some, um, but and, and then. Uh, we might do it because we believe that in the future we can skip these and go to more natural um, shampoo. If the price is too high, we cannot do it. Uh, they're also looking into patents. If there are any patents, uh, if we can work around them or uh, if we need to collaborate with another industry that has these patents. And with that, we can continue and decide what the best route will be also uh, where would we sell do we sell in a packageless store do we sell in Albert Heijn um, we're, we're already looking into it but it's really hard to define when you don't have your price I think it would fit in the higher segment because it would be an early adapter product and you would also need to um, present it in such a way I mean if it's going to be in um, super boring store where 40, 50 year old men and women come, they're not gonna set the trend, definitely. Uh, so um, in that sense, that would be better, or an eco store where young people come. Um, on the other hand, you want to make it an inclusive product, so accessible for as many people as possible, so maybe you need to work like a Tesla so you start with the high-end, expensive bottle, but it enables you to make it cheaper and cheaper and more accessible. Um, 
so it's it's still very very open.